Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to all things hockey. And we have something a little different. Uh, I'm, I think I even said that in the last video. But we've got some cards from a group break. And there's some from a group break. There's some that he threw in. And when I say he, and the reason it's not in a, in a envelope is it is from Les Magnifique Cards on Instagram, oh, there's nothing on the back, who uh, lives about 10 minutes away from me, oddly enough, so I just picked mine up from him, no shipping, none of that, and uh, it's great to have somebody like that close by. So, I don't want to replace Stevenson, so I'm going to put him over there, but I still take a, take a second to appreciate this. I still can't believe that I own that, but anyway um we're gonna get right into it i believe this is from two separate group breaks um i've got the golden knights and the bruins but that's an extra that somebody traded me um or either that or i know that somebody had um one of my friends let me have some of his hits because he got like every single hit from that uh one break We've got some more extras that I'm guessing Lay Mag threw in. And then another group break where I had the Golden Knights and the Capitals. So it looks like I've got Golden Knights and Capitals. And it was uh, three different years of OPG Platinum. So didn't do great, but didn't do horrible. I had a few uh, few hits, a few PC hits. I know that there's some Tuck cards in there. Um, didn't get my money back, but I, I also didn't lose too much. But that's the thing with group breaks, you really never know. So, I'm going to start with this one. This was the first group break that I did with them. I got, uh, the initial teams I got, I believe, were the Bruins and the Avalanche. And the Avalanche are a fantastic team to have for the 1920 series because of Kale McCarr. But, I really wanted Golden Knights because I really wanted some Cody Glass stuff. Um, and I, so I ended up trading the Avalanche for the Knights. And the Avs got nothing at all, and the Knights got some Cody Glass. Like, for example, a Young Guns. So, that was probably the best hit from the, uh, the whole thing. But we'll keep going through. So that is a Cody Glass Young Guns. As well as a Marc-Andre Fleury SP Essentials. There was a box of SPA in there. Two SP Essentials. I'm wondering how I got two. And two updates. That's actually cool. I didn't know that it said update hockey. So two Stevenson updates. So that's pretty cool. We also got a Paul Stastny UD game jersey. And I know that I've got, uh, got one other. And the only cool thing is I have this one that's black, and now I have one that's got the gray. He doesn't play for the team anymore, though, so probably going to get rid of it. Either way, I did get the jersey, the UD game jersey from that box. So that was pretty cool. We also got, for the, the Bruins... We got a Brad Marchand Limited, Limited Red, a David Pasternak Pure Energy, and a Tuka Rask Spectrum FX. So that was break number one. Nothing crazy, but still got some hits. Could have been worse. And then the extras. So I had... One of my one of my buddies, MVP, um, he traded me his. Uh, what did he get? He got a Elvis Merzlikens Young Gun, and I was sending him some cards. So one of the cards that I sent him, I believe, um, he gave me Merzlikens for. So he ended, or I ended up. It's a whole thing. I ended up getting Merzlikens Young Guns. I ended up trading Merzlikens Young Guns. For 
this Henrik Borgstrom UD Exclusives clear cut. I know that's nothing crazy, but I don't have any exclusive clear cut. Um, or I guess technically I do, just not from this series. And I don't know how these work. I don't know if these are like the out of five or whatever, but I don't have one from this year, which is 1920 series one. I've got some from 2021, but none for this, so super cool. Looks like he threw in a Nathan Bastion Young Guns from the Devils. The Devils where he ended up getting the Future Watch Auto Patch, oddly enough. As well as a Pure Energy Patrick Line. A Nolan Patrick Generation, Generation Next Patrick who is with the Knights now. A Cam Atkinson Pure Energy. And a... Connor Hellebuck Spectrum FX. So that is two goalie Spectrum FX. Look at that. So that's cool. Probably going to end up getting traded. I have some good friends that like the Bruins and the, uh, the Wings, the Jets. Um, so that's pretty cool. We've also got, looks like some extra clear cuts he threw in. A Nick Cousins Predators clear cut. And a Mark Jankowski Penguins clear cut, which is odd because he's a Penguins fan, but this is why he's a great dude. He always throws in some great stuff, and these are technically PC cards. So these will look fantastic in the clear cut binder. All right, and then we have the most recent break, and that was three different years of OPG Platinum, where I had gotten the Golden Knights, and the Washington Capitals. So, that being said, we will get into the base cards. So, I don't know the difference, um, unless this is a different year. So, that's 1819. Okay, so I've got, from 1819, we got a Alex Ovechkin base. And then from 1920... Oh, 1718, we got a TJ Oshie. And then from 1920, an Ovechkin, Holtby, and Backstrom. I really like the way the OPG feels. The, the Platinum, at least. I gotta open a box someday. And our hits, we've got probably our 17th Martin Fairberry marquee rookies. I feel like if, if you had a, a, a trash dump full of hockey cards, it would all be Martin Fairberry. As well as a rainbow, Braden Holtby. And a card I don't have yet, but I do now, a marquee rookie of Ilya Samsonov. So this is uh, nothing special, but it's pretty cool. Um, I enjoy rookie cards when they're new. And lastly... We've got the Golden Knights hits, like Marsh Assault, these are all base, only downside to Platinum is the fingerprints are crazy, Paul Stastny, Jonathan Marsh Assault, James Neal, and Marsh Assault again, so that's actually, hold on, this is pretty funny. We've got three different years of Marsh Assault. And both of these were taken from the same uh, season because they both have the inaugural season patch. But one is 17-18 and one is 18-19. Right? 17-18? Yeah. So that's interesting. But either way, those are the base. And then we have the hits. So, revisited from Cody Glass a marquee rookies i've got a few of these but it was still nice to hit a william carlson violet pixels which is not numbered but still cool and we've got a the future is now alex tuck i've never seen these before i did not know these existed but i like it 
And to add on, another card I didn't have somehow is a marquee rookie for Alex Tuck. So we got two PC hits from that box, as well as, uh, I'm not going to dig for it, the Cody Glass Young Gun. So I'd say, you know, for the amount that I spent, I definitely lost money, but that's the gamble. You never know what you're going to get. You could get as lucky as MVP and get every major hit. He got every future watch and the future watch auto patch from the two boxes, which is funny. But hey, sometimes you get lucky if you keep New Jersey. Somehow New Jersey does really well in Lay Mag's break, so maybe I'll shoot for that next. But either way, thank you so much for joining me today. Let me know what you thought. I know that, you know, these are all just inserts, nothing crazy. But either way, a good stack. So let me know what you thought. Leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and if you do, then I will see you in the next one.